Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to RimWorld. Let's check in on Cord. Grump died. Yep. My friend Grump died. My fiance Grump died. Everybody that Cord likes is dying. Could have done without that. And she's still wearing a dead man's t-shirt, which I don't get because there's other t-shirts for her to wear. If I tell her to take off the t-shirt, will she go grab a new t-shirt? I hope so. Let's find out. I mean, that's something that we can help out right now. Here, let's just take off the t-shirt, okay? Take off the dead man's t-shirt. There you go. Just take it off. There you go. She's going to run in here. She's Nope, she's just going to work naked. She'd rather work naked. There we go. She put on a new shirt. All right, well, that's, that's a start. Yep, last episode, Kord's uh, husband died out in the wild. And last episode, we also fought beavers, and it looks like we're going to do the same again this episode. Uh, great. Cool. Stars is wounded right now. She's our hunter, so we're just going to have to wait on that one. going to wait for that to happen. I think that she is set to hunt number one, though. That's her number one priority after research. There we go. Minor risk break from Kord. Yeah, I get it, Kord. You've already been setting fires regardless of your mood, so I'd hate to see what happens when you snap. That's not going to be great, all right? So hopefully it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, Stars keeps getting up to tend to Storm, which is a little bit w weird, considering that Storm's the one that beat her up. Um, looks like she's starting to heal up pretty good. All right, I'm just going to let her do her work. That's fine. How you doing, Storm? Are you almost done? Healing, you got you are. You're only in a little bit of pain. I would love for you to get back to work here soon. Now that there's only four of us. I know, Cord, I know she's got a minor wrist break. I get it. What else can we do to make her happy? Uh slept in the cold? How cold is it in there? 73 degrees. What are you talking about? Slept in the cold. We do need to get heaters though. I did talk about that. We should probably try to get some heaters for our people. Um what is it going to cost to make heaters? One component, 65 steel. We've definitely got some resources to... We need more steel. We're running real low on steel. So we're going to need to mine some steel. Let's find out where we've got the nearest... There we go. There's a bunch of steel right there. So we'll have them mine the steel over here tomorrow. There we go. And where else do we have steel? Oh, there's a ton of steel over here. Yeah, forget about it. There we go. Just mine all of this steel. If you could, too, that'd be super cool. All right. There you go. Cool. They're doing it. Oh, we've got the little area here as well. Now going into our new area right here. So let's deconstruct this. Um, probably going to need to put a new light in. I'm going to reinstall this light down here. And we'll put in a new light right up here. And then we're going to want to do something about the floors as well, right? So... Let's put in some of our fancy granite tiled floors there. Get that done in the morning. We've got carpet available to us too. And we've got 289 cloth. And we've got more cloth here that can actually be harvest. So I'm gonna actually say harvest this if you could. It's ready to harvest. Um, so is the heel root, you know, pretty much. Heel root's kind of ready to go, so. Let's harvest that as well. There we go. Get us some heal root going on. Let's make sure that the people who are harvesting are actually good at it, though. I don't want to make sure, or I don't want anything being harvested that... Or anybody harvesting that isn't good at it. Like, Storm, how good are you? Like, you're not good at it at all. So, Storm, I'm actually going to take you off of Plant Cut. All right? Because I don't want you wasting resources by cutting them. How you doing, Cord? Oh, you're going to snap so hard. You're going to snap so freaking hard. There's nothing I can do about Colonist died. My friend Webster died. Grump died. It's going to take one quadrum in three days for her to get over that. Uh, she'll get over Webster, though, in seven days. Such a wonderful person. The universe gets darker every day. Such a wonderful person. The universe gets darker every day. My fancy died. Such a man. My future is gone. Oh, and you know what's going to make this even weirder? I know that Storm and Sean are going to hit on her. I know they're going to hit on her. They're going to be like, yo, I heard that, uh, heard that Grump died. I'm really sorry about that, but, uh, you know, I'll be here for you if you need help. If you want to talk about it or something, like, I get it, right? If you want to come to my room and just, like, you know, cry about it, that's totally cool. They'll do that. These guys are scumbags. 
All right? Yeah, they're 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 my colonists, sure. But they've been hitting on her. They've been making her feel weird. All right. Stars, perfectly good colonist right here. Stars. She's looking for a man. All right. Keeps getting rebuffed. So much so that she got into a fight with Storm last episode. A fist fight, like not with words, with fists. They fought each other. Not cool, man. I thought you were a good guy. I was wrong. It's dark over here, by the way. Um, I should probably do something about that. We need more light. Aziz, light! And I need some more lights. Lights everywhere. Putting in lights to light up dark areas. You like that? I, I rhymed there with area. Because I am good at words. All right, Sanso, no granite. There we go. Everything is granite. It's all granite from here on out. Unless you've got smoothed floors. I remember when we had that party. Oh, those are the good days. A squirrel self-tamed? Oh, really? Okay, well, we lost a dog last episode. But we gained a squirrel. All right, there we go. There we go. Maybe that'll cheer up, uh, Cord. Do you know animal taming, Cord? A little bit. Who's who's my animal person, if there is one? It's Stars. Stars is my animal person. Uh, are you on Handle? You are. Handle's on three. That's fine. That's a fine place to be. All right, where are you at, Cord? You mining? All right, there you go. Yeah, just take your mind off things with work. All right, that's, that's a great idea. You'll, you'll get over him in time, I'm sure. That stuff, uh, what's the temperature outside? 57 degrees, it is starting to get chilly. Like I said, we're gonna want that steel so that we can start to replace the air conditioners with heaters. Uh, Cord, how is your mining coming along? You're still number seven. I really wish that I had a better miner because it's gonna take her a long time to mine. Here we go. Let's haul this stuff back. That's some steel. Go towards making some heaters. So, heaters... I'm not sure how well heaters do at producing heat. I don't know if I'm going to need one in every single room. In every other room. I'm going to start by putting one in, like, every other room. And see how well that heats up everything. And then if we need more, well, we can get more. You know what I mean? So, I'll put in a heater. You know what I should do? Let's see. We have a double bed there still, which is just a sad reminder that a man died. <sighs> Super sad reminder. Who's unclean? Oh, that's right. Cord. But you're number two. That's right. We need somebody to clean this place up. It is getting dirty. Last thing I need is everybody forming a mutiny because the place isn't clean. You know what I mean? Uh, so, Sean, here's what I'm to have you do. I'm bumping your craft to three, all right? Gonna make cleaning your number two. After you're done with your cooking, you clean, all right? You're the cooker slash cleaner. All right, we have done machining. So now we can do microelectronics. Then we can get geothermal power. And soon enough, we will get gun turrets as well. But we're gonna need to get gunsmithing and blowback operation before we can do that. But... We can do microelectronics, and that's what we're going to do. All right. How is Star's research doing, too? She's been doing pretty much nothing but that. She's getting so smart. She's got 14 intellectual right now. It's so good to have a smart person with us because we have some dummies, all right? We do have some dummies. We have Sean Perkins, who knows nothing. And also Storm, who knows nothing. They are literally incapable of thinking. These guys are just giant meatheads, which maybe is why Cord isn't so into them, all right? Now she's got a major risk break, because she's out here in the darkness. That is not helping things at all. Um, guess what, Cord? I'm going to give you a break, all right? Guess what? You don't got to do anything right now, all right? You don't got to do anything, all right? Take the day off. There you go. Just go home. I'm not going to ask anything of you, all right? You just chill out. Think about your man. Or try not to, I should say. Don't think about your man. What, man? There you go. Minor risk break. Exactly. Everything's cool. Nothing to worry about here. It's all fine. Let's haul this stuff away in the morning. Let's do everything that we can to avert a break, okay? 
We're almost done replacing the walls with granite so that if she tries to set it on fire, it won't burn. It's going to be nice when everything in our house is made of granite, all right? We're going to completely fireplace this place. Fireproof this place, not fireplace this place. No, the opposite. We don't want to make it a fireplace. We want to make it an anti-fireplace. That's what I meant to say. All right, the heel root's done. The cotton plant's done. Cord was our best cutter. I could have her cut. She's probably not going to mind cutting, right? People like gardening. It helps them get their mind off things. I think that she'll enjoy the gardening, actually. Uh, so let's have her garden. Uh, also, you know what? I sold this door here completely unnecessary. I can totally take that door away. It's just extra wood that Cord can set on fire. Where, where are you going, Cord? Okay, oh, that wasn't Cord. I thought she was running off. There she goes. There she goes, mining up a storm. That's great. Great to see her productive again. There, that'll get your mind off things. There we go. Just don't even don't even sweat it, dog. You'll find another man, I'm sure. There you go. There's a heater there. And a heater over here. We'll see if that keeps the place pretty warm. It is chilly. It's chilly in here. For sure. I get it. How's uh, the cooler doing back here? Ah, uh, it's doing great. Look at all these beavers we have, man. Beavers for days. There you go. Taking that down so we'll be able to make those walls now. Perfecto, man. Perfecto, tell us. Do some floors as well. Need some floors in that area there. I really hope we get a new colonist soon. By the by. Uh, we don't have anybody who can negotiate. I would love somebody who's good with social. It makes sense that these guys aren't very good at social because look at the, these guys. None of them are really good at talking. At all. We need somebody to come in here. A peacemaker, you know? Somebody who can really just sort stuff out. In the meantime, we'll just fireproof the place. Because Cord is bound to try to set some stuff on fire again. It's gonna happen. It's not an if, it's a when, you know? Like the big earthquake that's gonna happen here in uh, Oregon. Everyone knows it's just a matter of time. Cord is our earthquake. That's what she is. She is our earthquake. But we love her. She's a big, lovable earthquake. Okay, good. We've got one more thing. Swarm, I'm gonna wake you up and make you do this, right, dude? Don't be lazy, all right? Just do the one last thing. Actually, no, two last things before you go to bed, okay? The two last things you need to do before you go to bed, all right? There you go. Oh, cargo pod. What do we have in the cargo pod? Ah, some psychoid leaf. Hey, maybe that'll help get your mind off things, huh? Some psychoid leaf? Want to do a little... Want to do some drugs? Don't do drugs, kids. But... Oh, God, there's a raid, too? Holy butts. Okay. The Confederacy of Goler are sending somebody named Kangaroo. What do you got, Kangaroo? A bow of poor quality. And Cod, who also has a bow of poor quality. Uh, as much as I want Cord to fight, she's, she's in a mood, guys. I'm not going to wake her up and be like, yo, could you try to kill some people that are going to invade us? So, stars, storm, it's on you. All right, dudes? Go do it. Just hang out here for a little bit if you could. Storm, you're going to need to take the lead on this because your gun is short range, all right? Oh, man. Now that I'm thinking back, I gave that a, uh, gave that freaking awesome gun. It was shoddy quality, but I gave that awesome gun to Grump, and he died. Ugh, I should have taken that gun before I went. There was no reason why he should have died, though. He shouldn't have died. I just don't understand it. I could have sworn I gave him enough food. I'm sure that when I watch the video, I'll realize where I went wrong. And realize, no, I in fact did not give him enough food. Obviously, I did not give him enough food, but we'll see, man, because I could have sworn I did. I could have sworn I said that it would take 2.4 days and I gave him 5 days worth. But that'll just teach me, alright? I'll have to make sure that I give extra food next time, because I can't take those risks. Come on, Kangaroo. Let's see. Oh, God. If I didn't move him, I probably wouldn't have got hit. There we go. Kangaroo's down. Cod's trying to leave. Come on, take out Cod. Take him out! I'm sick of these guys getting away. I think they just come and fade us. And not suffer the repercussions. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Storm. All right, guys. Go ahead and you've been relieved of duty. Go go do your thing. Yo. There you go. Good. All right. Um, strip you. 
Unforbid you. Strip you. Unforbid you. There we go. Cool. A couple more graves now to add to the growing graveyard. I'm, I'm sad that we couldn't make a grave for Grump, you know? I wanted to save him, but by the time I realized that he was down, it was too late. It was just too late, man. Oh, by the way, Storm never finished doing this. Way to go, Storm. Way to go. You are a little beat up now, though. Oh, you are so not beat up, man. For as big and dumb as you are, you think that you could deal with a couple scratches a little bit better. But you are incapable. Sean, now that I've got my main construction worker down, I'm going to bump you up to my main man, construction worker, okay? I'm going to ask you to get this stuff done. Just, uh, did I not put you on construction? Did I just put you on something else? Sean. Oh, I just put stars in construction. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Do your thing. Please finish constructing. We got a fire proof this place. It's only a matter of time for a cord snaps. So let's take an on cord. Oh, her mood's getting better. All right. She's got tons of joy. She attended a party. She's got very low expectations. And she's feeling good, all things considered. All right. I did talk about making a rec room last episode. So once we're done making these granite walls, I'm going to add a rec room onto here for fun, you know? And yeah, I think that that'll be a very good idea. Get like a pool table going in there. Get a, you know, some, uh, some poker. Eventually we'll get a TV in there. Who doesn't love TV, right? Soothes the mind. Where's our squirrel, by the way? Is our squirrel still running around? Flash storm! All right, where's, where's these fires? Let's see if they uh, rage out of control. We'll keep an eye on them. All right, good. They're going out as quickly as they're starting. That's good. I'm just gonna keep watching. Watch the skies. Okay, these guys are gaining some traction and it is clear outside too, so that's, that's bad. That's bad. We're gonna need that taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the old trick. And by the way, if anybody told me, oh, there's still a little area there. If anybody left comments for me saying, oh, there's an easier way to do this, just know that I've recorded this in some batches. So if you've given me those tips, I'm not ignoring you. It's just that I haven't seen them yet, all right? Um, Sean, you need to wake up, okay, buddy? Gonna need you to prioritize that. You too, stars, all right? Just gonna need you to prioritize putting out those fires. If you could, that'd be super cool. Um, if you don't do this, by the way, ooh, bandits, Prime Counselor of the Northwestern NCM Alliance has sent us a message. Apparently, bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. They'll give us 2,090 silver, but I am in no state to do that. As much as that is super nice, it's such a great offer, but I can't do that. We need warmer clothes. I need to make everybody some jackets. Outdoor temperature is going to reach 38 degrees. You can tailor warm clothes at the tailoring bench or buy them from traders. All right, yeah, see, this is just going to keep on spreading. You can see that if I don't put it out, it's just going to keep spreading and spreading and spreading. Do I need to grow my, my area, by the way? Is it not big enough? It's going to grow outside of the home area if I don't. Okay. Man, I really wish that storm was capable of putting out fires. But he's just a big, dumb idiot. He's just a big, dumb idiot. Man, yep, it is growing out of control. And it's almost spreading faster than they can put it out. I don't want them getting burned. Sean, can you work with stars? I feel like this would work a lot better if you guys were actively working to put out the same fires. There you go. Like, yeah, work, work smarter, not harder, guys. Minor risk break from Sean. I get it, dude. You're, you're a big dumb idiot. You're not good at thinking. But I really need you to put out those fires. Because it's going to be super bad news if you don't. Where are you going, Storm? Where are you going, man? Oh, you're getting that psychoid leaf. All right, I get it. I get it. Don't burn yourself, all right? Don't set yourself on fire. I could really use some rain right now. Oh, God. Major risk break from Sean. All right, Sean. God damn it. I don't want 
to let you leave, but for the love of God, you're urgently hungry. Ah, oh, I get it. Okay, Sean, go eat. All right. Go consume a simple meal. All right. How you doing, stars? You are urgently hungry, too? Okay, go eat. Oh, God damn it. You guys are going to have to get back out there, though. You realize that, right? Going to have to get right back out there and do it again. Otherwise, this fire's just going to keep on spreading. All right, there we go. Sean's risk break has now dropped a minor. That's better. And this is going to keep spreading. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I hate fires in this game. I should build a wall around my base. That could at least keep it at bay. And my place is going to be fireproof soon enough. So there's that. Here, let's have you build this wall. Swarm, please make sure you prioritize building this wall. All right, there we go. Look at this. This is insane. Sean's exhausted. God damn it. Okay, fine. Go to bed, Sean. You've been relieved of fire duty. All right. God damn it. This fire's just gonna rage out of control. I know it. If unchecked, it's just gonna keep burning and burning and burning. Sean's gotta. Ma I know, Sean. I freaking know, dude. I just let you go. All right, buddy. All right, stars. There's not much you can do. Just, just leave it. We'll, we'll see. If it maybe rains. Hopefully, puts out this fire. Two people are not going to be enough to put this fire out. Wait! <gasps> what is happening? What? Excuse me, Storm and Cord? This is great for their mood, but she's still mourning her husband. Opinion of Storm, my lover. Being with my lover makes me feel this way. Dude, your husband is, I mean, there's still 14 days. There's still one quadrum before you get over your fiance. Oh man, I, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with it. You know, same thing happened with, oh good, the fires are dwindling. Same thing happened with, uh, major risk break, Sean. What's up, Sean? Are you cold? Is it because you're cold? Oh, because you're cold. No. You're in a little pain. Webster died. Very joy deprived. Oh. So you guys aren't into horseshoes anymore? I get it. All right. Hopefully you'll get over it tomorrow. Um, what's the temperature like? Okay, so the temperature in here isn't super warm. Let's crank it up to 88, all right? 88 miles an hour. There we go. Crank that up. And the rain is starting to slow down. Thank goodness that rain came. Look at that devastation, though. Look at this. It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. All right, we got new lovers now. That's adorable. Weird, but adorable. I'm not going to argue with it, all right? I. It's fine. It's, it's fine. All right, so it's so freaking cold. We're going to crank this up, man. We're going to crank it up to, like, 11, all right? Get this all the way up. We need warm clothes. I know. I know we do. Don't I know it. Um, we could slap in some more heaters. I said that we would start with those heaters in every other room, but it looks like we're probably going to need a heater in every room, you know? So there we go. Let's let's try that out. See if that doesn't spice things up a little bit. Uh, what's it like in here? Wait, that says outdoors. Wait a minute. Is there another area that doesn't have a roof? Is this going to happen to me again? Oh, no, 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 no. There's definitely a roof. Everything is roofed, right? Why does it say outdoors when I'm hovering over this? 38 degrees outdoors. Oh, there we go. Indoors. No, it says outdoors. Why is it saying that this is outdoors? This clearly isn't outdoors. This is clearly indoors. Indoors? Outdoors? Excuse me. Is there any area that doesn't... Why does it say that that's outdoors? This is super duper concerning. Let me just... Is it because of this roof? This is concerning. This is really, really concerning. Why do you say outdoors? I don't understand. What's happening here? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the roof, okay? Remove roof. There we go. And then we're going to rebuild the roof, okay? Now it indeed is outdoors, okay? There you go. Good stuff there, Storm. Okay. So now, 
There really is no roof there. Now we're going to rebuild the roof, okay? There we go. Rebuild that roof. Yep. Okay. There's the roof. Okay. It says outdoors still. I don't understand why it says outdoors here. Is it not in my home area? It totally is. Oh my goodness. This is going to drive me nuts. This says outdoors. No. Indoors, 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 indoors until I hit indoors. Okay. That says indoors. Go up this way. Indoors. Okay. No. Good. This says indoors. Oh, I'm going out of my mind here. Outdoors, indoors, outdoors, indoors. Okay. So weird. So weird. I don't, I don't know. All right. What's important is that it's finally starting to warm up in here. Okay. That's what's important. So let's just get it back down to like a nice 78 degrees. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's really starting to warm up in here. Uh, 78 degrees. This uses a lot of power, by the way, which is a little concerning. It's low power at 72, though. So let's keep it at 72, actually. There we go. I think that that's the sweet spot. 72 degrees. And, oh, we've got a second drone. Nice. Male colonist. Oh, no, that's not nice. It's not the soothing kind. It's the wincing kind. So Storm and Sean are going to be a little upset about this. Look at here, though. All right. Court and Storm. They're, oh, God. Mad animals, wild boars. Let's lock you guys in. So, Cord and Storm are shacked up. It would be lovely to get Sean and Stars together. I think that that would just be lovely. Let, let's see if we can make that happen. Where are these wild boars at? There they are. I'm just gonna keep our distance, all right? Get the, get the hell out. Look at the little squirrel, though. Our squirrel's sleeping in a box. There he is. Little squirrel female. Hopefully she doesn't get eaten by these boars. Has anybody bonded with that squirrel yet? I hope not. Oh, there's a meteorite. Snap. Where's it at? What's it made of? What is this? It's marble. I have plenty of marble. I don't need more marble. Send me a meteorite I can use, would you? Who needs more marble? That's, that's crazy. I've got all the marble I could ever need. Thank you very much, game. All right, please go away, guys. All right, I got things I need to do that require you to get out of here. Um, You know what I could do, actually? I could start replacing the interior walls now, all right? Let's do that. Let's do a little interior replacements. There we go. Cool. And just keep on rebuilding. There we go. A little bit of that. Perfect. Tear that down. Nice. All right. Good. Cord, you just chill out. All right. You deserve it. You deserve a little chill sash. Here, I'm going to actually have you do a little hauling. Okay, Cord? I'm going to have you number three on a haul. All right. There we go. Haul a little wood if you could. There we go. Place is clean, orderly. It's warm. We just researched microelectronics, which means that now we can research uh, our. Where is it? Where is it? Geothermal. There we go. Wait, it's locked. Why? What do I... Oh, crap. Wait, no? I thought that I only needed microelectronics to get geothermal. Oh, I need a high-tech research bench. That's why. All right. That's right. High-tech research bench. We need to replace the old with the new. That can be done. What does it take to make that? 250 steel and 10 component. Oh, goodness me. Okay. There's, that is that component thing I'm talking about. It takes so much freaking component, this game. Whoa. What just, what just happened? I think one of these boars got attacked by something. Maybe this Ibex? Who knows? We'll have to go back to the tape. All right, let's finish the structures here. Good job. Let's just make the most of our time here. While we can. There you go, stars. Yeah, you can't research anything yet, so... Yeah, just pitch in if you can. With the building effort. That's cool. There we go. Sean failed. Eh, it happens. It happens, Sean. Don't worry. It's not that big a deal. All right? Don't let it get to you. Look at that. It's, you guys tear down. 
He builds up. This is perfect. I like this. I like this little chain reaction we got going here. You guys make an awesome team. All right. It's almost like we never had a guy named Grump or a guy named Webster. We don't even remember who those colonists are. All right. You guys are doing great dealing with your grief. Real proud of you. These boars are still hanging around, surprisingly. They are just committed to raising hell. This is like the birds, but it's the boars. This is the movie that uh, Hitchcock wanted to make, but he just wasn't brave enough to do. Okay. Uh, nope, they're not leaving. I really thought that they were. I'm really glad I built this area now. If I didn't have this area, then I wouldn't have been able to get these two out of here. Uh, oh, we need to power. Apparently, we've severed a power connection. Here we go. Here we go. Fix that in the morning. Get warm clothes. I know, alright? I'm just gonna keep my people indoors. There's a lot of things I need, game. A lot of things, all right? I realize I need warm clothes. I get it. We're going to stay inside, all right? We're self-contained at the moment, which is fine. We don't mind being self-contained. Self-containment is good. It's working for us, all right? It's freaking working. We're just going to make the... Oh, I think the boars are gone. It is. It is cold outside, though. Here, I'm going to open the doors. Guys, don't spend too much time outside, okay? Just just don't spend too much time out there. Um, here we go. Replace these granite walls. And we're going to replace this wall, too. The fact that they don't have anything to do right now is really helping me out. Sarge, you can plant cut, right? Um... I've got you on plant cut. Here, actually, here. I'm going to have you haul. Bring those inside. Oh, I can't. There's no room. Hmm. I still need that stacking mod. I got to freaking download that. You know what? I'm going to do that after this. After I'm done recording this episode, I'm going to go download all the mods that I need. Like I said at the end of the last episode, I record these in batches, so I recorded like the last four episodes at the same time. So if you guys are wondering, why didn't you do that thing that you said you were going to do? That's why. That's why. I'm going to fix that after this episode. So look at this. I almost have a place completely made of granite, which is exciting uh, because we do have a fire bug on our team. She's adorable. Everybody seems to love her, but she does like to set fires. It makes me wonder if she's not like a psychopath or a sociopath. You know, like everybody's just really like taken with her. She's really charming, but she's also out of her mind, you know? And when somebody says, like, you know that she sets everything on fire, right? That she has, like, a fascination with fire. They're like, no, not the court I know. The court I know is just too sweet and innocent to do a thing like that. Like, so I married an axe murderer, but so I married a pyromaniac. Inspiration, work frenzy, stars! Computer has just been inspired. Ooh, she will work 2.5 times faster. You know what? Taking advantage of that, we could wait to research... Or we could just use the knowledge that we currently have, like penocycling production. You know what, though? I need other drugs in order to make these drugs, and so it's not going to really do us any good researching that at the moment. Um, oh, I can research the stuff that I'm going to need in order to get turrets. That's what I should be doing, so let's get that out of the way. There you go, Stars. And Stars, are you on... Research. Research is number two. Construct is number three. Okay, so after you haul that, you should probably go back to researching, right? There you go. There you go, researching. Oh, I have the new bench! Why did I think that I didn't have the new bench? I clearly have the new bench. I thought that I didn't have enough compound or component, but apparently I did. I'm such an idiot. I was so busy building all these walls, I didn't even realize that I had already finished that storm. Finish this wall so that your lover doesn't freeze to death. Storm. Don't ignore me. Finish the wall. There you go. Jeez Louise. You guys gonna freeze your butts off. Having no wall in your bedroom. Come on! Alright. 
in the morning we'll finish chopping out these walls. I know that we need warm clothes, you keep telling me. It'd be nice if I had another person on the team who could just exclusively be a tailor. You know, maybe I'll make Sean my tailor. Um, here, we're gonna get rid of these bills, okay? Sean, because the game keeps telling me to do it. Let's make some uh, jackets and parkas, okay? Uh, jackets, let's do one, two, three, four of those guys, because we have four of you, and then let's make parkas, okay? One, two, three, four, there we go. Now, my question is, are they automatically gonna put on parkas when they need to? Because, oh, Sean, he's paying respects to Webster again. I didn't realize that Sean was so close to Webster. Ooh, psychic smooth, or psychic soothe. Stars is throwing another party. Hopefully, Storm and Stars don't get into a fight again. That's what happened at the last party. Oh, they are talking. Okay, I wanted to keep a close eye on that. It's always a little risky when they when they get talking to each other. Here we go. Build that wall up. There you go. Sean's talking. You guys, you guys, cool? Everything's good, right? All right, good. Friends, fantastic. All right, back to work. Party's over. So got a lot of beavers. Got plenty of beaver food. That's don't need to worry about. Um, the crops aren't really grown right now because it's it's a little cold for crops. But that's okay. We got plenty of beaver meats. Beaver is the uh, vegetable of the meats. Everybody knows this. Oh, rice just uh, rotted from being unharvested. Is this ready to? Oh, it's ready to freaking harvest. No freaking wonder. All right, we do have some crops that need to be harvested, so we should probably do that. Let's harvest. Come on. I figured that you would just automatically do that. I'm surprised that you didn't actually. Actually, you need to be planting. That's why we're not growing. You haven't planted yet. Because I took... That's right. When you got all crazy, I took all of your jobs and said, Yo, take it easy. Then I forgot to give them to you again. All right, there we go. Have you plant cut. Have you uh, plant as well. Because you're good now, right, Cord? We're, we're pretty good, right? Like, you are super happy. Look at this mood. It's almost like she'd never had a husband that died. Or fiancé. I shouldn't say husband. You guys weren't married yet. I did bu build this marriage spot, though, that you never got to take advantage of. But maybe, just maybe, you and Storm, huh? That big dumb meathead. We'll get to marrying each other. Look at this. We're almost done researching. Because she's researching so fast. Amazing. Okay, gunsmithing's been researched, but let's go ahead and get our geothermal out of the way. Let's take advantage of this work frenzy because we've only got it for a little bit longer. All right. There you go, stars. Just go crazy. And I'm actually going to probably keep you up overnight doing this, okay? I'm going to take it. Oh, never mind. Working frenzy's gone. I take it back. You can go to bed. I'll let you sleep tonight. I just realized that Sean isn't tailoring because he's not set to tailor. Sean, you are set to tailor, but it's not like your prime directive, all right? There we go. Tailoring now. You got a new job. Storm has this thing where he's like he procrastinates. He gets so close to getting the job done. And then there at the very end, he quits. There we go. Every time, it seems, he's doing that. It's crazy to me. Need war I know, game. I'm on it right now. We're gonna make warm clothes. Uh, that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode, though, of RimWorld, y'all. Uh, who knew? Who knew that Cord and Storm were gonna get together this time? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Cord has been inspired to shoot. Your shooting isn't good to begin with. I'm probably not going to take advantage of that, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we're going to wrap it up. We've got a new love interest. I'm really curious to see if Sean and Stars ever get together, okay? Come on, we got two guys. We got two girls. The girls like guys. The guys like girls. Let's, let's do this. We're low on food. Dangerously low? I don't think we're that low. Give me a break. We have ten, all right? It's not that bad. Uh, but... 
Until next time, guys, uh, if you guys liked this episode, I hope you guys did. Be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that stuff. I say it at the end of every episode, and I hope you guys don't think like it's just it gets old hearing it. It just helps when you guys do. I don't want to sound too desperate about it. <laughs> and uh, come back next time. I'll see you guys then.